Well, thank you. You know, uh, as their passing knows, I just wanted to say that, and I say it all the time, Amen. but you have to be obedient. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you don't have to wait for the message to be preached. That's right. That's right. Praise and worship is the right time Amen. for you to open up, get yourself right, and let God in. Amen. Amen. As you spend time with him, you know, he'll just take whatever it is you, you carry it. All the heavy, all the cares, all whatever it is, he can take it all away. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you got to let it go. But you also have to invite him to come in. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We want to welcome you. We want to welcome Amen. all of you. Happy Sunday morning to you. Yes. And happy Father's Day all of you that yeah. are joining us by audio video. We just want to. Uh, welcome you here to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben in Marfa, Texas. Yes. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos están escuchando ahorita. Y feliz día del Padre. Amen. So, get yourselves ready. Get on go. And I only have a few minutes. So, <laughs> <laughs> he only has a few minutes. <laughs> receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. You know why he always has something for you. Woo. Are you receiving? Yes. I never hear from God. Well, you know it's time to spend time with him. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's always wanting to spend time with you. Thank you Lord. Are you making time for him? Thank you. you know, once in a while, open your Bible, uh -huh. and he wants to share something with you. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Uh -huh. so grab your Bibles. This is mine. So uh -huh. say it like you mean it, church. Yes. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I, I, I can do what it says I can do. Today, God will talk to God. I'm going to confess. I'm going to learn. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same. Ooh, hallelujah. It's okay to change. Change is good. Amen. Yes. Mm. Praise God. Praise the Lord. It is a good thing yes. to give thanks to unto Him. Amen. Always. Amen. 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 So praise God. Lord. Get yourselves ready. I know the uh, food is served, but also the word. We'll have the word before we uh, we have the food. Yes. Anyway, Amen. welcome everybody. It's good to see you. Yes. Amen. Good to see all of you. So prepare yourselves. Yes, happy Father's Day. Thank you. I still found it, so I put it up there. Happy Father's Day. Direct your children in the right path, and they, when they are older, they will not leave it. it. Amen. So as parents, mm -hmm. we are to train our children the yes. way they should go. You know, uh, sometimes, uh, and I know you don't do this, but we send them everywhere to be trained except home. Mm. We need to train them the way they should go. Yeah. Amen? We need to train them the way they should go. And when they're older, they won't leave it. You know why? Because they get the root, they get the foundation, they get the word in them. Amen. So praise God. So happy Father's Day to all fathers here, listening, viewing. Yes. Those in heaven. Amen. We have, some of us have praise our God. fathers in heaven already. But you yes. know what? That's okay. We have yes. a lot of good things to remember. Amen. Amen. So we want to thank God mm. for you and uh, honor all of them. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we thank you. You may miss them, but we all have good memories. And we'll, we'll get into it a little more. John 3.16 says what? John 3.16 mm. says, well, go ahead. Go ahead and show the other slides on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. This is the one for the children there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy Father's Day. I saw that. We talked. Amen. Children's for. 30 plus years, so hey, I still got some child in me. Next one. Feliz Día del Padre. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Número 624. You guys got to pay for the translation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Number 624. Yes. John 3.16. Here we go. God the Father. You got what the Son it says. I need my people back. I want my people back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you and uh, I'm going to sacrifice you because mm. I want them back. <laughs> and Jesus says, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's just Jose. Okay? <laughs> but he says, for God okay. so loved the world, for yes. God, our family father, so loved the world, people, uh -huh. his people, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but what? Have, Have everlasting life. life. Amen. Amen. Ooh, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to honor our fathers. Keep going. Next mm -hmm. one. Here we go. Exodus 20:12. Mm -hmm. He gave us some commandments. He gave us ten commandments. Fifth commandment in Exodus 20:12 uh, says, "Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land, the land which your the Lord, Lord your God gives you." Amen. 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 We're gonna 
Do a few more. Keep going. Mm. Fifth commandment. Deuteronomy 5, 6, uh, 5, 16. Honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God has commanded thee that thy days may be prolonged and that it may go well with thee in the land which the Lord thy God has given thee. Yes, amen. amen. So he's given us some commandments and uh, you know I've told you about my military stories. We have commands in the military. Lots of commands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're not suggestions. <laughs> when you get a That's command, right. you must do. <laughs> or you will suffer. <laughs> So, if you want things to go right, you will command. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so, praise God. One more. Mm. Keep going. There we go. Woo. Honor your father and your mother. Ephesians yes. 6, 1 through 3. New King James. It says, children, we are his children. I don't care how old you've gotten. We're still God's children. Yes. <laughs> Children, it says, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is the right thing. This uh -huh. is right. It says, number two, it says, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, when they promise. And number three says, this is the promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long, long on this years. earth. Amen. You know, as long as he has us here, he has a mission for us. Amen. And I want to live long enough to fulfill that mission that he wants me to fulfill. Amen. Yes. But he tells us to do what? Obey our father and our mother. <clears throat> and I know you're probably saying, well, you don't know my father and my mother. They never were there or, or whatever fault you might have. But still, he says, honor your father and your mother. Amen. We all have a father and we all have a mother. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> all right. I'm going to read these right now. <clears throat> that all may go right still is your choice. You choose. Amen. Uh -huh. Just like you choose to do right or wrong. Just like you choose to speak the right things mm -hmm. or the wrong things. Just to, you choose to be positive or negative. Yeah. That's your, your choice. You can't blame nobody else. That's, That's right. your choice. We celebrate Father's Day once a year. God has given each of us a father. None of these fathers are perfect. Even the best of fathers have flaws. Yes. Or imperfections. Mm. They make mistakes. They have weaknesses, and they also fail. But yeah. God, our, excuse me, but on Father's Day, we focus mm -hmm. on the good things. Yes. Okay? Amen. We have a tendency to always focus on the bad yes, things. Yes, the bad. But you know what? I'm getting way ahead of myself. That's all right. When Jesus was ready to give up himself back to the Father, offer himself back to the Father, he says, forgive them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when God saw the crowd that crucified his son, through Jesus' eyes, he saw he saw them. And he says he forgives them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he forgave us, but still we have uh, uh, a chance to accept him as Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, our Heavenly Father. So praise God. And you uh, focus on the good things and not the bad things. The good times, the good memories, the good teachings, mm -hmm. and all the good. <laughs> Father and uh, the Father, Heavenly Father and Jesus teach us to forgive and to forget. And John 3.16 is one of those. Also, I just talked to you about Luke, Luke uh, chapter, uh, excuse me, the book of Luke, chapter 23 and verse 34, mm -hmm. where Jesus said to the Father, forgive them, for they yes. do not know what they're doing. What they're doing. Right. Right. Yeah. The same crowd, mm -hmm. a week later, honored him and welcomed him into Jerusalem as king of kings, mm -hmm. or a king. And now, a week later, they're crucifying him. Uh -huh. Not only that, they're releasing a crook, a murderer, yeah. Barnabas, <laughs> instead of Jesus. Right. They're keeping uh, the perfect one and crucifying him, and they're releasing a murderer. So, you know, it, it, from the beginning, things were not huh. right. Right, right. So anyway, I know, uh, I know, uh, this is Jose, pastor, thinking this way. I know you don't think this way, but you don't know what they've done to me. <laughs> you don't know how bad they treated me. Mm. Put yourself in Jesus. Yes. Shoes, uh, sneakers or sandals. <laughs> <laughs> sandals. Sandals. <laughs> Look, he never did anything wrong. They crucified him. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's pretty bad. So, yeah. whatever they've done to you, it's yeah. nothing. But in Matthew 6, 
14 and 15, you can write these down and you can go check them out whenever. But I'll read them to you and you can uh, go read them yourself. Matthew 6, 14 and 15, the NIV says, Because we're sinners, we must forgive. It goes like this. For if you forgive men, if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But there's a but. If you do not forgive men their sins, guess what? Your father will not forgive you your sins. That's right. <laughs> so it's just, well, you know, he's going to take care of you. But remember, before you go to the Father, confess your sins. Mm -hmm. Come before him clean. Mm -hmm. He already knows, but he wants you to confess them anyway and get yourself clean. Amen? Amen. He wants us to forgive. Mm -hmm. And, of course, in Matthew, just a few uh, chapters up the road there, Matthew 18, 21 and 22, in the NIV, Peter asked Jesus, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brothers oh, <laughs> when he sins against me mm. uh, uh, up to seven times? Well, Jesus answered, mm -hmm. I tell you, mm. not seven times, but 70 times seven. Oh, boy. And if you haven't done your math, that's about 490 oh, times. A day. A day. <laughs> that's a whole bunch. So he still says forgive. You know what the best thing to do is forgive. Mm -hmm. If Jesus can forgive and forget us mm -hmm. and forget, we, we need to do the same thing. Amen. You know, he says, I called to you, I anointed you, and I sent you on this mission. Mm -hmm. He says, it's going to be troubles. There's going to be cares. There's going to be anxieties. There's going to be all these weights come mm -hmm. against you. There's going to be these storms come against you on a daily basis. But he says, cast it on me. Yes. Give it to me. Don't try to do it on your own. We need him to survive this day. Amen. We need him on a daily basis. Yes. So he says, cast it on him. He wants you to fulfill your mission. Do you want to fulfill your mission? Mm. We need to be obedient. Yes. And we need to forgive and forget. Yes. 490 times Ooh, on wow. a daily basis. And of course, uh, we're familiar with this one. Confess to God <laughs> who will forgive and forget your sins. Yes. First John 1 John 1.9. Yes. NIV. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to purify us from all unrighteousness. So if He can do that for us, we need to do it ourselves. Amen. Forget, you know, people that uh, sin against you. Yes. We must look at the good in people and not just the bad. That's right. We have a tendency to always mm -hmm. focus on the bad. Mm -hmm. And you see, Jesus, when he asked God to forgive the people there, God saw the good through Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. We used to do this in children's church. <laughs> we used to have this humongous glasses, and we put our Jesus glasses on. It says, yeah. when you see people, when you go to minister to people, mm -hmm. you ain't going to find a perfect one. But you put your Jesus glasses on when you go out on a daily basis. Mm. When you go out on your missions, on your mission field, and you put your Jesus glasses on, you spend time with Him, clothe yourself with Him, mm -hmm. and you go out and you see them through His eyes. Yes. For God so loved the world. Amen. <laughs> not just your friends, not just your little company. Yeah. But He said, For God so loved the world. The world. All people. Amen. He died for all, not just yes, he did. you. Not just right. for us, but he died for all. Oh, they haven't heard and they haven't confessed him as Lord uh -huh. and Savior, but they have, still have a chance to do so. Yes. And they're looking at you. I've told you this so many times. You're the closest thing to the Bible some people will ever be close to Amen. or yes. read. That's right. Amen. So when they see you, watch your words and your actions because mm -hmm. they know. Right. When Amen. they see you, they're watching you. Yes. They're waiting for you to fall, but you don't fall. So they open when they, you come to them and say, you know, Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. Have you confessed Jesus, you Lord and Savior? Yeah. There's something different about you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, yes, we must love, have love and compassion. Amen. On a daily basis as we go out. Mm -hmm. Perhaps your father's still alive. Well, praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for my father. Maybe he's in heaven. You praise him anyway. Thank you. Honor him. No excuses. It's a yeah. commandment. That's right. If he's alive, all of you listen to this. 
visit him, mm. call him, write him, text him, email him. There's so many ways that you can mm -hmm. see or come to him or yeah. touch bases with him. Amen. Yeah. Yes. There's no excuse. One day you'll have to stand before God and mm -hmm. ask him and, and, and answer his question. Say, why did you not honor your father and mother? Mm. You don't have to answer to me. You can answer to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love, oh. accept, forgive, and honor Thank him. Lord. And this is to all people yes. that we're talking about fathers today. Love, accept, forgive, and honor him. Yes. But you don't know what he did. He abandoned us. He gave us a wife. He did this. He did that. Whatever he's, whatever he's done. He's never been there for me. Mm. Love, accept, forgive, and uh, honor him. There's no other excuses. Mm. <laughs> fix, fix the wrong, fix the past. But there's no excuse. That's right. Just do it. You know what? <laughs> if this has been bugging you for 20 plus years, 30 plus years, it's time to get it away. Yeah. Because the enemy's going to hold it against you. Mm -hmm. The enemy's going to make sure that holds you down. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Give it to God and press on with yes. what he's got for you. He's got better things for you. Yes. He's got good plans for you. Yes, and none of them include defeat. None of them include defeat. No, man. All of them. Hallelujah. Just think about that. But you're keeping yourself back because mm -hmm. of that hurt. Mm -hmm. Let it go. If you give it to him, he's going to take it. Amen. And he's going to get rid of it. But you know, every time it comes back to your mind, we, we talked about this, the battlefield is the mind. Yes. And the enemy can't make you do anything, but he can put some thoughts. He can bring some thoughts, and you can just meditate on those, and pretty soon you're back to square one. Mm -hmm. Just let it go and say, wait a minute, I gave it to God. He say, hey, Satan, mm -hmm. hey, devil, if you want to talk about this, something I gave God, you go talk to him. Because mm -hmm. it's not mine anymore. It. I gave it away, and I gave it to him, so you go talk to him. You think he's going to go talk to God about it? I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Says It's not mine anymore. Mm -hmm. I've moved. I'm mm -hmm. doing better things now. Mm -hmm. So, delete yeah. it. You know, we use the delete button on the computer so often. You know, we need to do the same thing with this uh, spiritual yeah. balance. You yeah. know, when it pop, these uh, <laughs> thoughts pop up, you know, uh -huh. instead of meditating on it and acting on it yeah. or speaking it out, yeah. delete it. Put a guard yeah, on your yeah. mouth, put a guard on your uh, mind. It says, renew your mind to the things of uh -huh. God, with the Word of God. So these things can be gone. So you don't have to be thinking about those things. Amen. Amen. You have to be thinking about Praise the food God. that's waiting on the <laughs> <laughs> It's not <a> good. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning we want to look at the perfect father, our heavenly father, John 3, 16. Oh, for yes. God so loved the world, our heavenly father so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. 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 Our heavenly father, we should honor him daily. Yes. It's called relationship. Yeah. You know, when you have relationship, you get to know your heavenly father. Mm -hmm. You know, when somebody come and bring you some false information, when so and so said, mm. and you say, wait a minute, you're not talking about my heavenly father. That's right. Because that's not what the word of God says about yeah. my heavenly father. I say, give me scripture. I say, well, uh, I don't have scripture. So and so said it. And you're taking it to the bank because mm. so and so said it? I don't think so. Mm. If you don't have scripture to it, you know what to do? <laughs> you let it go, throw it away, delete it. Because mm -hmm. it's not in the word of God. Amen. And you're not talking about my God. Right. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Did he uh, honor him daily? Mm -hmm. Not once in a while? <laughs> or on emergency cases? <laughs> uh -huh. We have a lot of emergency cases. Or when we feel like it. Or maybe once a year for Father's Day. We remember oh. him, you know. No. Honor him. Give him thanks daily. Show gratitude and appreciation yes. on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. He's given us ten commandments. And the fifth commandment says to honor your father and mother. If God said it, do it. Amen. Things are going better. Things are going well. Yes. <laughs> it's the thing to do. Ready to stop. <laughs> now, one reason he includes this in, our, uh, in his commandments <laughs> is because it runs against our human nature. Mm. And our human nature and tendency is to fight authority mm. to fight and disrespect mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of that going on mm. just go back and think Pastor Pat 
talked about this before, but go to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 9, and you'll find out that in the last days, things are going to get worse. Yes. So guess what? If things are going to get worse, in order for us to keep our peace mm. and stay out of anxiety mm. and stay out of cares, is to cast it on Him and have a strong relationship and yeah. have strong roots in Him. If you don't, you're going to fall. Amen. Right. You can't do it without Him. That's it. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle. Yeah. You can't fight a spiritual battle in the flesh. Mm -hmm. you got to have be in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. We feed ourselves the Word. We're three-part being. We talk about this all the time. Mm -hmm. We're three-part being. We, we are spirit. We have a soul, which is your mm -hmm. mind, your will, and your emotions. Yeah. And we live in a physical body. Amen. Yeah. Your spirit, you feed the Word of God. Your mind, you renew on a daily, but, well, often. <laughs> and your flesh, always crying. I want the food. <laughs> <laughs> your flesh is always crying, so you got to crucify it. Yeah. Amen? you got to crucify it. But we want to fight God's authority. We want to fight parents' authority. Mm. Amen? Come on. All right. We want to fight all the authority. Mm. School, teachers, neighbors, oh, police, church, pastor. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we just want to be free. <laughs> just like, hey, we're going to release... Barabbas instead of Jesus. Uh, yeah. Barabbas, boy, he's a murderer. But Jesus, you know, he ain't done nothing. So we're going to put him in jail. We're going to crucify mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. It's totally opposite. Totally yes. wrong. A while back, I don't, I don't remember this, but a while back we used to say, uh, man, that's bad. Mm. Well, it means it's good, but we used to say, man, uh -huh. that's bad. That's bad. That's uh -huh. good. That's bad. <laughs> totally wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. <laughs> we want to do our own thing. You know, so many prodigal sons around, you know, saying, well, hey, you know what? I've listened to you for so many years. It's time for me to hit the road and mm. do my own thing. You know, that's what the prodigal son does, you mm. know. But he found out. He woke up quick when it, the world hit, woke him up quick. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. <laughs> we must learn to be obedient. We must learn to yeah. obey. We must learn to submit ourselves. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So as, as fathers, as, as mothers, uh, Proverbs 22, 6, we saw a few minutes ago. Uh -huh. Train your children the way they should go. Yeah. It's our responsibility to train them. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Again, Father's Day, we focus on the good qualities, examples, the mm -hmm. talents, the abilities, the good memories, uh, remembrance, and the recollections. Yes. Forget the past. Forget the hurts, the mistakes, the imperfections. Mm -hmm. You know, we tend to hold on to those and remember the mistakes and the imperfections more than we do mm. the good things. Mm. Amen. So we want to focus in on the good things. Mm -hmm. right. Whether you are a biological father or mother, stepfather or mother, <laughs> or an adopted mother or father, still we are to be the best mother or the best father. Amen? Yes. Amen. The best parents that we can be. Yes. God has placed these children in your care yeah. and we are to take ownership. Amen. Amen. I'm not just doing it to see what I can gain. Mm. I'm doing it to sow the right things into them mm -hmm. and guide them and raise them and train them the way God wants me to. Yes. You know why? Because you may not remember your mother or your father, but God has put gifts. God has put talents. God has mm -hmm. put plans in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God, it's going to come to pass. Yes. So we just gotta guide them and direct them in the way they should go. Amen. 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 So praise praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and children, you got a few children in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Receive your parents. Amen. Receive your parents. Amen. You live long, man. Receive them as your as your father <laughs> and your mother oh, and yes. honor them. Not oh. because the pastor said it. Because if you open the word of God, uh -huh. it tells you to. Fifth commandment. Yes. It's a command from God That's himself. Right. Honor yes. your father and your mm -hmm. mother. Amen. Right. Honor your father and your mother. Because yes. God says so. That's right. <laughs> Listen to this. Joseph was a stepfather. Mm. Was the stepfather of Jesus. Yeah. And he received Jesus as his oh, own. That's it. I'm going to tell you what happened before. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read it to you. God chose, listen, God chose Mary. Yeah. God chose Joseph to be 
the father of the king of kings. Mm -hmm. Jesus, his child. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> to be the earthly father. God chose Joseph to be the earthly father yes, of Jesus. The Bible tells us in the Gospel of Matthew that Joseph was a righteous man. Yeah. His actions towards Mary, his finances, mm -hmm. uh, his finances. It's Beyonce. 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 <laughs> <laughs> trying to read my own well, right here. She got the Reveal five <laughs> was a kind and sensitive man. <laughs> when, he Mary was a told, man. <laughs> when Mary told Joseph she was pregnant, uh -huh. mm, <laughs> he had the right to feel disgrace. Mm -hmm. He knew the child was not his own. Mm -hmm. And Mary's apparent unfaithful carries a grave social stigma. Yes. Joseph not only had the right to divorce Mary under Jewish laws, she could have been, could have been dead by stoning. Mm -hmm. Woo. Divorce Mary, uh, uh, excuse me, although Joseph's uh, initial reactions was to mm. break the engagement, the appropriate time, the thing was for a righteous man to do. Mm -hmm. He treated Mary with extreme kindness. Yes, he did indeed. not want to cause her uh, further shame. So That's he right. decided to act kindly, mm -hmm. quietly, but God sent an angel. Mm -hmm. God sent an angel, basically, and told Joseph that that Mary, that baby was from the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Joseph received it, mm -hmm. and he kept Mary. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he is the stepfather of baby mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Joseph willingly obeyed God in spite of public humiliation yes. that he would face. Perhaps this noble uh, quality made him God's choice for the Messiah's earthly father. Amen. So the perfect father mm -hmm. is our heavenly father. Amen. So praise God. Go to the next one. slide. says, listen to your father who gave you life, and do not despise your mother when she is old. All right. Proverbs 23, 22. Mm -hmm. This is the word of God. Mm -hmm. yes. This is the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we need to be obedient. Keep going. One more. Okay. Hmm. Wow. If you want to be the best father, imitate your heavenly father. Mm. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 says this, yes. to walk in love. Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. Uh -huh. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to Ooh. God. Amen. Yeah, so imitate yeah. your heavenly father. Remember to celebrate and honor your heavenly father on a daily basis. Amen. As father, <clears throat> excuse me. As father has expectation of his children, John 3 16 is God's plan of salvation. It shows us that he, what he did for us, he uh -huh. gave his only son yeah. so that we could be saved. Yeah. Yeah. And it shows us that he expects us. What he expects from us. Mm -hmm. Whatever believe, whoever believes in him shall not perish. And we have a role to play in our own salvation. God yeah. expects us to believe in him. Yes, Amen. Yes. So yeah. praise God. He doesn't uh, expect more than we can give. So praise God. But he expects us to do our part. Mm -hmm. Amen. He expects us to do our part. Be committed. Be participators and be imitators of him. Be believers in Him and have relationship with Him. Our good, a good father has certain expectations of his children, certain requirements that must be met. Mm -hmm. So, a perfect father is a provider. A perfect father is a disciplinarian, mm -hmm. and a perfect father is a security person. He is personal, and he is always there. Yes, he is. Amen. He's always, always, always there, and. Uh, in closing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we barely touched the surface <laughs> of who Father is. Yes. 
Yes. But he is our perfect heavenly father. Yes, he is. He is a father uh -huh. you always wanted. He is a father who is available to you. Mm -hmm. And he is a father who will gladly adopt you into his family. Yes. Amen. He yes, is he a is. perfect father yes, who will is. adopt you into his family. Uh -huh. You know, you may have been walking away from him mm. and be the prodigal son for all, right. all these years. Mm -hmm. But it, it takes one step mm -hmm. backwards. In, in the military, we call doing about face. Mm -hmm. When you're doing about face, you don't have to walk forever. Mm -hmm. He's always there to embrace you. Mm -hmm. To say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. I want to come back to you. Mm -hmm. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to say. And uh, he'll forgive you. Yes. And he'll receive you. Some people say, you know, once you've sinned, he'll never use you again. And that's a big lie. Yes. Amen. Yeah. What he want, Jesus says he hates sin, mm -hmm. but he loves sinners. That's right. For God so loved the sinning yes. world that he gave his only begotten uh -huh. son. If that was the case, he wouldn't have sent Jesus. That's right. But when you confess your sins, mm -hmm. repent, confess your sins. He will receive you. Yes. Amen. And on a daily basis, if you sin, mm -hmm. let's say, Lord, I missed it. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. Guess what? Mm -hmm. He'll forgive you. Forget it out. Clean yourself before Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And He'll forgive you. But He wants you to continue on this mission He's got you on. Amen. Amen. And He wants you to fulfill this mission. He just wants you to clean yourself and be ready. Amen. So praise God. So, fathers, I challenge you to listen. To be the provider for your family, mm -hmm. to protect them, and to be the best, to the best of your ability. To discipline your children, train them to be the godly children they need to be. Yes. To be personally involved in the details of their life. Mm -hmm. To fight against being absent in their lives. They need you there. God, the, our Heavenly Father says, He never leaves you and forsakes you. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling lonely, it's not because He don't want to sup with you That's or right. come and fellowship with you. Mm -hmm. It's because you're not doing your part. Mm -hmm. We need to invite Him well, in. Yes. When we invite Him in to open up to Him, He'll come in and He says He'll sup with you. Yes. Amen? But we need to do our part. Amen. We need to do our share also. Mm -hmm. They need you there. And you need to be the imitator of God, uh -huh. asking Him to make you more like Him. Amen. You'll never, you'll never be like God, but you can grow in His character. Mm -hmm. Since your children want to be just like you, you need to be more like God. Yes. yes. Amen. Mm. You know, when you come born, when you become born again, you have a spiritual birth mm -hmm. on the inside. Yes. And that spiritual birth on the inside is going to change and grow your outside to change. So you're not going to be the same anymore. And you're not going to talk the same anymore. Well, this is the way I was born. No. So I'm just, I'm going to be this custom champion for all my life. No. No. You're going to be Christ-like. That's right. If you're going to be Christ-like, your language changes. Yes. A whole lot of things change on you. Amen. So... Whatever it is, we're all different. It affects us different. So anyway, uh, know that you will be changed and be yes. more like Him. And if you want to be a great example, a role model for your children, then be more Christ-like. Yes. Amen. Yeah. When you're Christ-like, they'll see that and they'll see Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Just a prayer for the fathers. Let's, I don't know if you can see it that well, but we can pray together. Ready? Yes. Since God our, our Father, Father, in your wisdom and love, you made all things. All things. Bless those fathers who have taken upon themselves the responsibility of our parenting. Bless those who have gone lost, despised, and death, death separated from the poor, and who have parenting their, their children, children alone. Strengthen all dads by your love, that they, they may become the loving, caring persons they are they meant to be. Grant this through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. And you know what? Praise God for all the <laughs> mothers yes. that are doing it all. Yes. Uh -huh. And don't father home. You know, so praise mm -hmm. God. Amen. Praise God, praise Thank God. Lord. Hallelujah. So, 
to all you fathers, we want to say, we see a happy Father's Day. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. That's all I have. Um, those of you that are watching, those of yes. you that are listening, I Amen. just encourage you, if you didn't get it, uh, confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Say, Lord Jesus, I missed it. I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And we invite you to just go find you a church that is teaching the Word of God. There's a lot of churches out there still teaching the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Go make yourself available. Go. Yeah. You got to do something for yourself. You got to go and start studying the Word for yourself also. Yes. And that says to study and show yourself approved. And, I, and change and grow in those things. Amen? Amen. So praise God. And uh, that's the right thing to do. And yes. receive Him as Lord and Savior, you know. And you're a changed person. You're born again. Amen. New in the kingdom of God. Says, you're a new creature in Christ. So praise yes. God. Yes, if you're hurting, if you need touch from God, He can touch you. He says, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yes. From the crown of your head to the soles of yes. your feet. I speak healing over you right yes. now. Whatever is hurting you, whatever that hurt may be, whatever uh, is ailing you right now, I just speak to you. I speak healing over you in yes. Jesus' Thank name. You, so praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Uh, we, you can curse. Hallelujah.